Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. Today I want to make another greeting card again. I had so much fun making the last one and I keep finding more and more stamps in the attic. Oh, this one. Look at this. That's not the way it's supposed to be. Hmm. Okay, that's for later because I want to make a card with this, but not today. So this, uh, I need to <laughs> restore another time. How does that happen? <laughs> okay. Uh, I did find these and I know I made a giraffe card a few months ago, <laughs> but I just thought this would look awesome together. Look at these. And here is, this is a zebra and this is a another animal. I don't know. This looks like a bit like a giraffe. A bit. A leopard maybe. I'm going to use this one as a giraffe background. So I've got a background, I've got two giraffes and I've got maybe another background. <laughs> and I did find some nice paper. That I thought would look really nice with this. Um, so, <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> okay, what I want to do is make a little background and then stamp this on another little background. <laughs> Something like that. So, I thought I'd use this, use this as a background for this. And then maybe a bit of this paper. Now this looks a bit different, but I think I'm gonna stamp it. I mean, it looks too light against this paper, but I want to stamp it full with this in these colors. I've been thinking about this. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So first I'm gonna start with this background. And I think I'm going to use Versafine for that. I love this ink. It's really... Um, easy to stamp with. Let's just find some background paper and let's just get started. So, no, I want it first, I find. Yeah, because I want this for the background on this. Complicated. Let's see. Oh, this looks nice. So I'm just gonna stamp this randomly around here. Oh, this looks nice. I have no idea what it looks like because it's just dots and that look a bit looks a bit like a twig maybe i don't know but i thought it would look really nice on here and i think i'm right so this is an old magenta one it was 11 euro and 20 cents okay i think i sold this in my own store i think this is my sister's handwriting and she helped me a lot when i had my stamping store so when we got new stamps they had to be priced of course <laughs> nice so it's a uh, an oldie <laughs> Um, shall I just sponge it with the same color? I've got the sponges over here. So I'm just gonna sponge the edge. Ooh. I like this. Sponge, 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 sponge. I love sponging, guys. You know that. If you watch my videos regularly, often. <laughs> never can say that word regularly and you know I love sponging so this looks so different Ooh. oh well sponged a bit of that one too <laughs> I love the way that looks it's almost finished <laughs> Okay, so now I want this over here and then this maybe on another piece. Hmm. Or, or, yeah. wait, I have an idea. First I need to uh, cut this in half. And then <laughs> I need to think about this. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna sponge everything with this. I'm going to stamp the what I think is a giraffe pattern on here with old olive and Cajun craze by stamping up. So let's just see this one. <laughs> okay. Whoa, it's a bit dark. Let me just see, so I 
stamp it, I do this, and then again. The second one I like. So, stamp it, stamp it on here. I'm gonna do it like this. <laughs> okay, well this is gonna be an interesting paper. So now we need to clean it because I want to use the Cajun craze. Let's see what that does. Is that dark as well? Yep. Oh, but I do like it. Hmm, the middle doesn't stamp. Why is that? That's weird. Um, a bit more green and a bit more brown. Somehow the brown doesn't ink in the middle. That's just weird. Why not? The green does, but the brown doesn't. Very weird. Okay, well, I think this is enough. This looks a bit weird, but I think the giraffe is going to go over there. So. That's just weird. The green did stamp in the middle and the brown didn't, like this. Okay. That's why I always try it out first. And also, if I hadn't, this would have been way too dark on the card. So, let's clean this a bit. Okay. Ooh. Now... I'm going to tear it to pieces. Oh, that needs to be sponged. I know that needs to be sponged. <laughs> and a bit over here. So these two sides are... You don't have to really watch what you're doing. But then this side shouldn't have it too short. Um, so just a little, little edge. Because, as you know, you can tear it off, but you can tear it on again. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Now this looks awesome. Sponge, sponge, sponge. <laughs> I love making cards like this. I used to make cards like this so often, all the time, actually. Sponge a lot and tear a lot, and I just love that. I missed it. I used to sell my cards on craft fairs, but somehow the Dutch folk don't do craft fairs anymore. There must be some of them, but they just don't buy cards. I don't know why. Oh well. Oh, this looks awesome. What's that? It's a bit red. Why? Okay. Oh well. Okay, so yeah, now I know what I want. I want the giraffe on here. That's not a giraffe. Here they are. I want it stamped with Versafine. So that's a bit dark color. Do I want to tear it? No. I don't want to tear this part. This part I just want to... Oh, it's nice, but should it be darker? I'm not sure if I can get it darker, but let's just try it. Well, <laughs> almost the same. Oh, so I want this. I'm going to color this in and then fussy cut this. Well, fussy cut. And then I'm going to stamp it on here again. Got an idea, and I just need the borders for this one. Okay, All right. Uh, what was my idea? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> oh, my idea was to. Um, I don't know anymore. To what? Yeah, I want to tear this. So... Oh. So I'm going to 
put this with my scraps and I'm just gonna tear a little edge around it something like this so I have to make sure it's the same all around <laughs> This is going to be a bit harder. This is why I always cut it to size a bit. Because this is harder to tear than this. Now, of course, this needs to be sponged. And then I want to cut this out and put it on here. I think that's going to be awesome. <laughs> okay, let's just see. Sponge. Where's my sponge and my ink? So now it looks like this. That's really nice, but look what happens when you sponge. <laughs> I love it. So this is just a kitchen sponge that I cut into six pieces. This I think needs to be... Ah, oh, no, it's okay. I just thought it was a bit too round, but it's okay. Don't overthink things. So I really want to sponge this a bit, a bit more, make it a bit darker. So it'll stand out a bit more. maybe but first I'm going to give this a color for that I think I'm going to use water paint okay so I've got my paints these are water paints that I've had for years and years look at this you can just take this off I bought these at Hero Arts but there are they are from Koinor Koinor chart park I have no idea I think I'm going to use well these colors probably oh, it's just too dark I just want a bit of a light light brown a bit of um, giraffe brown now, these are the only oh <laughs> okay the only brushes I can find right now and they're stuck together hope this works oh well I have my brushes somewhere in boxes in my living room and I don't know where. Let's just see. I know I used to love... Let's just try it on this one first. Oh boy. It's not really a brush anymore. But I think it'll work. Okay. So I'm just going to color the whole thing. Ooh, really nice. And, uh, well, I'll just put a little music behind this. So as you can see, I only used two colors, light and a bit of red brown. And I think this is okay. It looks okay. Maybe just a little bit more. Over here, that's my husband in the background, <laughs> breathing too loud. <laughs> okay, I like it. So this is awesome uh, water paint. Let me see if I can show you. It's from this brand, I have no idea. But it has loads of pigment in it and it was really cheap. I think this was about 5 euros maybe. I've had it for years, so I'm not really sure, but it works awesome. And it's so handy to take with you on holiday or so, because you've got a whole palette and just this little thing. Amazing stuff. Okay. 
I'm gonna cut it out and I'm gonna sponge it. First I'm gonna dry it and change the battery. <laughs> okay, well I like the way this looks, but I want the eyes to be a bit more uh, a bit more. So I want I'm afraid this might be too dark. Oh, way too dark. I keep falling for that. It's so much darker than you think it is. Uh, this one. Oh well. Maybe. <laughs> Let's try it on here. Oh, I can do that. So, you see it a bit more. <laughs> okay. Here I go. So this has double lines, that's why I like it so much. But I'm just gonna cut the inner line because I have stamped it on here as well. So you will see the outer line on that paper. Isn't that clever of me? <laughs> I thought it was clever. <laughs> that's why I wanted to stamp it on another piece of paper. Oh, and this sticks out a bit. That's funny. So the inner line. <laughs> but now the question is, how will I put it on my card? Do I use a thread? Oh, I have an idea. I, ha <laughs> I have lots of ideas at the moment. Look, when you put this over here, well, it's not really that much, but you can see the outer line a bit. Of course, it needs to be sponged and lots, because this is just way too light. So I need to sponge it a lot. So sponge a bit inward, make it a bit darker. Yeah, oh, I like it. And now a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, lot on the outside. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Sponge, 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 sponge. I love the way this looks. I like it. I need more. Uh, over here and over here and a bit over here I want that corners to be darker now nah, like this I like it okay so I can still use this oh pff, should have done it on this side and I could have used this side oh well <laughs> okay so I need to, well, I want to say watch out for my fingers that they're not too smudgy. So I'll smudge this, but uh, there's nothing you can smudge. So I'm going to glue this on with glue or oh, I'll just use double-sided tape. I love double-sided tape. Just not this one, but... <laughs> Okay, and a little bit. This one is very sticky. Well, it's supposed to be sticky, but this one is too sticky. But for this, it's okay. Oh. Okay. Now I need to put it on <laughs> the right spot, of course. So, like this. Look at that. So I really want a bread or something over here. So I'm, um, oh, I want to say first I'm gonna glue this on. No, I need a bread over here, and then I can glue it on. I really want this to be darker. So maybe I should try it again or use a darker ink. Let's see. Maybe darker ink. Let's see if I have. 
This one is a bit too purple, isn't it? This is really, uh, this one is too dark. Yeah, that's just too dark. Um, a soft sweat is too light. No, no. I just need to use this. So I'm gonna sponge this for half an hour. <laughs> nah, but just for a while. So I'll just uh, edit that part out. Just wants it to be darker. Well, I think this is dark enough. So now I need to use some breads, or maybe I can first try to use one of these. I just thought of that, so I just uh, look them up. Look them up. Yeah, well, I found them again. These are little, look like a little screw. You see that? I like that, but I think this is way too... I do like the gold, but it is very shimmery. So I also have these. All the same, aren't they? Yeah. So this is silver. Hmm. Ooh, that's a tough one. The dark one or the shimmery. Uh, if this was a bit less shimmery, I think this would have been awesome. <laughs> decisions, decisions. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go for this one. Uh, guys, this has been years and years and years and years years and years since I used it and probably it's gonna take more years because I can't get this out <laughs> here it is these things are uh, they're from I think these are from Ranger I'm not sure and I used to open them left-handed shouldn't do that everything falls out <laughs> okay oh well you only do that well I only do that 20 times and then I think hmm, maybe I should do it the other way around I know I used this for it, uh, but I need to poke a hole first because that's just way too, way too thick to go. I need to go through three layers. Yeah, no, nah. I'm gonna get my pokey tool. So just a second again. Okay, pokey tool. So let me see. It needs to go through here. Like this. So let's make a hole over here. So three layers. Hope that'll work. <laughs> push this one through. Blah. Wow. <laughs> Not sure this is gonna work. Okay, let's just push it through this one first. Here we go. And then there's this little hole over here somewhere. Okay. And I'm gonna put it a bit like this. Um, I think this might sound really awful, so I'm gonna put this underneath. <laughs> because you need to put this on here. My gosh, is there still room? Okay. And then you take a hammer and you take this. So if this is too loud, I'll just <laughs> uh, turn off the sound. Here we go. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> it didn't work. It really didn't work. Okay, let's try it again. This thing won't stay. Maybe I need... I need another one. I mean, there is enough room for it to go around here. Why do I want this? Why not just simple bread? <laughs> let's try this one. Here we go. That's better. This one again. Oh dear. Well, I think I'll, it's, I think it works. To be honest, I'm not really sure about this. It's just, I think you need to flatten it, but it just doesn't work. Again, close your ears. This didn't work. 
Okay, I'm glad it's on a card because if it was on something else, I think it would fall off after a while, but just one more time because it's so much fun. Here we go. That should do the trick. If this doesn't work, well then it doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, maybe three layers is a bit too much for this. If it, will, if it falls off, I'm just going to put in the bread, but I think it'll stay on. So let's just do this. Isn't this a cute little hammer? <laughs> and... I'm going to put some extra tape over here. I think it might be finished. I need to remember to buy new tape because this is all I have. And I still haven't found a good one. Well, I know of a good one stamping up. I think they say it's acid free, but this is officially acid free as well and still eats through paper. But the stamping up on is 850 for a little row and that's just not in my budget. <laughs> so I need to find another one. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, this looks awesome. <laughs> Look at it. Wow. What do you think? Uh, I always <laughs> nowadays clean my desk when I show you, but it's just this is just distracting you from my work of art. <laughs> so look at this. What do you think, guys? Isn't it awesome? I love the colors. It looks amazing. This is not really like a giraffe, to be honest, but oh well. Maybe it's supposed to be, but I really love this one. I think it's better than a gold one. It would have been too kitsch. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of this card. I'm really happy with it. And I just hope this will stay on. <laughs> oh well, we'll find out if I send it to someone. Uh, <laughs> if it's still gonna stay on here. <laughs> but I absolutely love it. This stamp is awesome. It's also by Magenta. I have uh, I started out with a lot of Magenta stamps. And this is an older one because there is no price on here. Uh, I used to sell Magenta stamps in my stamping store. I used to have a stamping store when I uh, could still walk and stand a bit longer than I can do now. So then I sold uh, these stamps. But this one doesn't have a price on it. Just my letter K. So I think it was before I started my stamping store. And that was in 2005. <laughs> so yeah, it's an oldie. But I love it. Doesn't it look awesome? So guys, uh, I would love to know what you think about this card. And you know, the drill. I, I say it every video. But uh, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. And leave some comments. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And hit that notification bell. And I hope you have a lovely day. And all that's left to say is... Greetings from Holland. Greetings from Holland. Bye. Oh, bye. By the way, <laughs> by the way, um, I might start an Etsy store or maybe just on Instagram. Sell some of these cards. What do you think? Uh, should I sell the cards I make and then, um, you know, have, have a special Instagram or maybe just on Karen's Corner. I want to use my Karen's Corner Instagram more and more. So when I go on holiday, I can take you with me. And um, I just want to show you stuff I'm working on. Although most of the stuff I work on, I film. So it's not going to be that much different. But still, I want to uh, put more on Instagram. So follow my Karen's Corner Instagram. If you're not already a follower, I would love it. So, okay. Bye. <laughs>